Hey guys and girls, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of the most amazing Farmcraft with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant, having yourself a great day as always. We're back in a wizard's journey. Yes. And I have done a load of stuff that I would like to show you before we get doing anything major today. First thing is I brought all of the Viz Relays up here. So look at this. It's going through the ground up here and it's powering all of these guys. How funky is that? So when I go along now and I grab some of this, let's grab some of you and pop you in there. There we go. You can see it going up to there, our Terra, and it's going speeding this guy up. How funky is that? Pretty cool, right? I like it. Now, I also made, if you have a look at this, oh yes, <laughs> I made some Falmium Fortress Armor. How funky is this stuff? It has its pros and cons. The cons are that you don't get any, uh, you don't get any type of viz reduction or anything like viz discount. Obviously, you still do with the goggles, but I want to wear the Falmium Fortress helmet. So we're going to sort this out in a second. Uh, another thing that I did is I made myself some baubles, so I have some of these. Now, if you have a look inside your book, I will show you very quickly that you have access, once you get here, to Runic Shielding. And Runic Shielding adds these little areas you can see down next to my hearts. If you look at my hearts, you can see they've got kind of like a little Runic Shield around them. And that's basically extra hearts. That's kind of how that works. So as I take damage, those will go down first. And then dependent on the types of rings and amulets and belts that you have, uh, it gives you a varying effect. So the regular one, this one, the Runic Shielding, you can see that has different parts. So we have the girdle of runic shielding, which gives me runic shielding plus 10. Then we have the ring and the amulet, eight and five. And the cool thing with these is we can add special upgrades to them. So the charged ring of shielding is what I'm using. I have two of these at the minute. And what these do is they don't have as much runic shielding. So this only has five, these have four but they recharge 25% faster. So when you take damage and your shielding goes down, it will recharge. And because I have two, it recharges 50% faster. So it recharges in half the time. Now, I may be missing on plus one from each one, but the runic shielding, eh, how fast it recharges, I think kind of makes up for that. You have got other coins as well, like revitalizing. So when your runic shielding goes down to a certain amount, uh, it triggers a regenerative effect. Then you have this one here, the kinetic girdle of shielding. Uh, it has a slightly less charge than your girdle it is based on, but when your shielding is breached, a detonation of kinetic energy will be released, damaging and shoving back anything nearby. Now, I don't want to change this because I currently am wearing my pharmostatic girdle. So you could switch this out, but then you wouldn't be able to fly as fast. So that's one thing. But at the minute, I have to kind of switch these out because my pharmostatic harness and my farming fortress curious are, uh, are a little bit kind of uh, mismatch at the minute. So there are pros and cons to wearing this, but it is much stronger. So if you get into a fight, you're definitely going to want this stuff. So there is all that. The other thing that I have that you may have noticed up here is an amulet of viz storage. And this is pretty cool. So let me show you what this does. This is in here. There we go. Viz storage. Now you make this guy, and when you've made it, what you can do is if you stand near next to next, <laughs> stand near next to any of these, any of your uh, your viz relays, and it requires a certain amount, it will take it from the viz relay, or you can put it on top of one of your wand recharge pedestals. So you can see at the minute, it could do with a little bit, so we can pop it in there. And it's going to fill up, and it's kind of like a wand in how it works. The only difference is you can put it into your baubles inventory, and it will charge stuff for you. So you can see it can hold, it holds a fairly decent bit. <laughs> it holds a lot. I got it, it holds a lot inside there. You can see a capacity of 250 on each piece. And if I pop it back in here, there we go. And I bring my wand out. You can see in the top left, all of them are going up. And that's because it's taken it from our amulet of viz storage. You can see them going down and my Farmium Boss Silver Wand Core is going up. So it's like a battery. It's like a viz battery, basically. And you can charge it in multiple ways. So, like I said, we can either pop it on top of a wand recharge pedestal or we can stand next to one of these. And you can see this one's glowing. It's because it's recharging this guy. If you have a look in here, you can see the air and the Terra and the Ignis are going up because that's what we've got inside this node. 
Now, our big daddy node, our giant one, has had a bit of an upgrade, if you go have a look. He now has all six types of primal aspect, which is great, and he has been turned into a uh, one of these guys. He turned to an energized aura node. You can see that I've placed these Viz Relays above the roof, and they go around like this, and then one of them is currently going into this Viz Charge Relay, which is on top of a arcane work table, charging my Falmium Bossed Silver Wand. So, I've got two of these now. So, I've got this one here for doing our stuff, and this one's just for this. And whenever we do any uh, arcane crafting inside here, what it's going to do is, when this goes down, it's going to recharge it via this, because this has one of every type of the uh, different types of aspect in there, primal aspect. So that's pretty cool, right? I haven't got to worry about recharging this anymore because it kind of does it itself. It's not as fast as recharging it inside a recharge pedestal, but it is fast because I can just leave it and it works, which is nice. So let's get on with what we're going to be doing today. Now, the first thing is we're going to sort our helmet out because we need to be able to see all of our magical things around us while we're wearing a funky new helmet. And to do this, we're going to need one of these guys. So I'm going to pop this on here and I'm going to keep a spare because you've got to bear in mind that you do not get the, uh, the Viz discount from doing this. So none of the Falmium Fortress pieces will give you any Viz discount. So you're still going to kind of need your old gear to be able to get that discount. But this is much stronger. So we'll wear this until we need to do anything that will require us to have that discount. So now we've got that, we're going to pop one of these on here. So we'll have a slime ball. There we go. And our fortress... Wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> we need that on there. There we go. And that on there. And now we just need some Essentia. Yes, and I've already got two of them. The other one I need is Aurum. So wait, and you can go there. And this should, hopefully, work. And it should combine, combine the two together so that we have the powers of these guys, the gold with revealing, inside our fortress helmet. Pretty cool, right? And we can do another upgrade to this guy, but I'm probably not going to do that today because I want to decide on the one that I would like to have. And I'll show you that in a second once we've done this. Just to make sure this goes right. Because it is a little bit moderate. So there is a chance that things can go slightly wrong. As they are renowned to do. <laughs> but I think we're going to be okay at the minute. Yeah, we go. It's onto our slime ball. Should eat our glasses. Our goggles. And poof. There we go. You can see now it's got goggles revealing in it. So I can pop these on here. And I should be able to see all of my magical goodness. Yeah, there we go. Conceal the nodes and things. Brilliant. Nice. Cool, cool. Alright, so I'm going to leave these here, but like I say, you kind of want to keep hold of them for the Viz discount, the same with your old uh, robes, which is kind of nice. Now, the one thing that we're actually going to do today, the main thing that we're going to do today, is we're going to do some mining. But we're going to do some Falmic mining. Now, I don't really need to do any mining, because I have increased all spawns on this, so that we could kind of get into the magic a little bit faster, so I didn't have to mine for half my life. But I'm going to show you this anyway, because it's kind of cool. And I would like a big hole in a wall, because I was thinking of filling it with something nice. So, I've made myself, if we have a look in here, these bits. An arcane ball, an arcane ball base, and a couple of other funky things that are going to come in a little bit useful. And I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff in my inventory because we don't need this here at the minute. So I'll get rid of you. I'll get rid of you. Yeah, let's get rid of all this stuff that we don't need. So all of that. My bell could be kind of handy. We don't need you or you. All right, good stuff. So we're going to need you, 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 and you, and you. And that should do the trick. Now, you don't need all of this, but we're going to try and supercharge it because we're cool. <laughs> and I also made another pickaxe of the core. It's not as good as my one, but it's all right. It's got efficiency four and repair two on it, so it should be kind of nice. But we are going to need something else as well to be able to run this guy so that we can do our boring. And that is going to be a wand foci. Now, I haven't gone into any wand foci yet because I was kind of holding off until later on, but to be able to do this guy, we need to have at least researched the wand focus of excavation to be able to get the research to make the arcane ball. And this guy's kind of cheap, he's not that expensive, and I'll show you what this actually does in a later episode. But for now, just take my word, it's cool, and we're going to make it for this. <laughs> so we're going to need four nether quartz, four earth shards, and an emerald. So let's grab four earth shards. There we go. And we're going to need an emerald. Brilliant. 
All right, let's go and make this. We're gonna go make it up inside our uh, our nice little castle area here, just so I can show you how the table works with the vis relays attached to it. Here we go, and then we'll give it an upgrade because I think that's gonna be even cooler, isn't it? So, oh my god, I'm flying off all over the place. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. All right, so I want you and you and you. And these are the wrong way around. <laughs> there we go. All right. So you can see this is going to cost 4.5 of each one of these types of uh, aspect. So when I take this out, you're going to see that it's going to pull the aspect from the Viz relays like this. And you'll see my wand is recharging. It's fairly slow, so it's not a fast process. You can see the tower is taking a fair bit of time to recharge. But all the others have already recharged, which is kind of cool, right? And that means I can just leave this here and not have to worry about it. When we get any better type of wand, <clears throat> we can just throw that in here. And all of our arcane crafting is going to be really, really easy to do. Yeah. But for now, we'll leave it like that. All right. So let's go and set this up. And like I say, I'm going to go through all of the wand focuses in a later episode, because these actually do a, a load of stuff by themselves to do with my wand, but we'll uh, go into that at a later point. So I'm going to get myself some stone, and we're going to set up a little area to do this. So let's get some cobblestone, and I don't want to do cobblestone, I don't want silverwood. Uh, we'll do... Let's just do silverwood. Why not? We got loads of it. So I'm going to do this out here. And I'm thinking of doing this across the river. So that it goes into this wall here. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. Can I get on top of you? There we go. So it's going to go like this into here. Because I want to build something inside this wall. So I think this could be a good way of doing it. So let's get a load of wood. And we're going to build a little walkway going out here and I'd kind of like it a little bit central if possible but I don't think there's actual actually a central point to this wall all right let's bring it out here cool cool now you can do this underground you can do this pretty much anywhere you like and it's going to kind of work like a quarry but it's a, uh, a multi-directional quarry and it doesn't quarry like you would expect it to it's uh, a quarry but a very special quarry I think yeah I think that's a good way of putting it <laughs> <laughs> Let's get rid of you. Alright, so we're going to have him here, I believe. So let's pop him here. And we're going to pop our arcane ball on top. On top of our base. Cool, cool. And now we need to move it to point in the direction we want to ball. So if we take our wand and we click here. You see it turn around. And we're also going to want to change the side of this. So I'm going to change it to here, like that. And I'm going to throw down a hungry chest. Because whatever it mind is going to get thrown out of this hole so if we put a hungry chest there it's going to go into our hungry chest like that now we're also going to want an area to store all our stuff because you know we're going to be mining a lot of dirt a lot of rubbish so we're going to need somewhere to put all of it so i made some chests and a golem to be able to do this now you could just have a regular golem that just picks the stuff up for you but as a uh, precaution i've made this hungry chest just so we have somewhere to uh to build up all the stuff that's mined just in case the golem can't keep up i think he will be able to keep up but this is you know it's just in case so we'll put you there and we'll put you there and we'll put you there and uh, we'll put you on top of there and on top of there and that should be good all right so golem can go here and he has a empty core, I think. I hope. <laughs> so he's attached to that. Let's get my Golomancer's bell. And we're going to set him to all of these. There we go. Brilliant. So anything that I place in there, he should put into one of these. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Alrighty. So this is almost set now. We just need a couple more things. Now, I did say that we can upgrade our, uh, our foci. So we're going to go and do that. Now, I've never actually done this before. I've never upgraded my foci by before with enchantments. But it sounds like a kind of cool thing to do. I'm pretty sure it said you can do it inside the Pharmanomicon. And remember that we can do any type of enchantment via the, arcade, the, uh, the altar over there. But I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to do it in here. 
<laughs> so let's just see what we get. So we got frugal and treasure. Okay. I don't think they're the best ones. <laughs> but it will do for this demonstration. Now you can also go ahead and you can throw enchantments on your pickaxe. So you see that I've got enchantments on this pickaxe, the core that we're going to be using. Now this is kind of an odd contraption because when you put items into this, you can see we've got two sections. We've got one for our for this guy, our wand focus, and one for our pickaxe. Now you can put pretty much any pickaxe in there, and the type of pickaxe isn't going to make a difference to the speed in which it does stuff. But the, the difference it will make is the duration of how long it can mine for. So the durability of the pickaxe will go down as it mines, which, you know, is kind of cool how it does that. And the effect on the pickaxe and the wand focus will play a part on how the arcane bore interacts with what is boring. So you see we've got efficiency on here, so it's probably going to be a little bit faster if I put that in there. You can see the speed's gone up to plus four, like that. And we'll also get native clusters because of the pickaxe, the core, that's the way it works. And then we can put that in there like that. And you see that we've got fortune two as well. But we didn't get anything else because we haven't got any speed on there. We haven't got anything to increase the whip or anything like that. So that's what we're going to have. Now, obviously, you can change around with enchants or you can specify the type of enchants with the arcane uh, infusion up there. Because obviously, we can do the, uh, the arcane enchantments and do it that way. So you can have a specific type of enchant depending on what you're looking for. But like I said, we're going to be lazy. <laughs> So now that we've got that, we're pretty much set for this guy to start running. So if I grab myself a lever, and we pop it here, and woof, there we go. Look at that. Doing his fang, doing some mining. How funky is that? And because I have repair on here, it should be able to keep up a little bit. Obviously, it's gonna—it's not going to repair as fast as it's used, but it, it'll be okay. It should last for some time. But this is going to go ahead, it's going to dig this area out. It digs in kind of an odd shape, but you can see that everything's getting dug out of here and going into this chest from our guy. Now I'm going to turn this off, because I want this to be faster. And there is a way of making this guy faster. And there's two ways of doing it actually. So if we have a look inside here, inside our farm in Omicron, and we go to Artifice and look at the Arcane Boar, we will see inside here... Where is it? Somewhere around about here. There you go. The ball can be powered with Peditio, Essentia, or Viz, which will greatly speed up the rate at which it mines. Viz or Essentia can be provided by pipes and or relays as normal. So, we can get ourselves some jars, or set up some type of Peditio, uh, Essentia area near it, piping the stuff into the arcane ball. Or... We're going to be snazzy, and we're going to use node stabilizers, because we're funky like that. And I'm going to put the first one here. Yeah, here we go. And this is going to speed up loads. So I got one here that has Peditio and Terra in it. Obviously, we don't need the Terra, but we do want the Peditio. And this should speed it up fairly fast. So if we do that, and we get this guy. And let's see if I can actually get this on top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we bring you up, like so. Cool, cool. And we begin the energizing process. And there we are. Venus. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to connect one of these to here. How funky does that look? And this should, once this has been energized and done its thing. Are those coming out of there? Go on. Go on. Do your thing, Mr. Node. Mr. Transducer. Transducer, work. Transduce. 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 <laughs> okay, there we go. Now it's working. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with it just then. It just decided it didn't want to have any of it. So I put the uh, I put it on top. Actually, that reminds me. You can pop them on top if you want to try and make it look a little bit neater. I always pop a block next to it, but that's just because I'm lazy and I put that next to it just so I can throw a lever there. But if you jump on top, you can actually place one on top like that and uh, it'll work just fine so we can see now that this is doing his thing and my warp ward is about to run out and believe me i am starting to have some negative impacts around this place 
So I uh, I need to kind of make sure that we don't have any bad effects with that. That does bring me on to helmet upgrades, but we'll get into that later with these guys. But one of these helps you out quite a bit. The Grinning Devil Faceplate is an upgrade for your Falmium Fortress Armor that uh, reduces not the amount of bad impacts you get from warp but it reduces the uh, actual impact itself so it's not as bad as it could be because there's kind of levels of uh, how bad it's going to be but let's just let this quickly run out so i can grab some more and then we'll uh, we'll go have a look there we go Whoop. good dance <laughs> having a little bath all right so we can see now the pedito is going into this laser and if i go whoof, check that out speedy speedy Noise. <laughs> He's draining straight from that. Pretty cool, right? So I changed this round slightly so that it was a little bit more efficient. And I may have broke it slightly. <laughs> Just a tad. Maybe broke it. Now, this is actually my fault, I think, because I'm using Optifine. So uh, whenever you have graphical glitches like this, generally do not expect it to be the mod itself. It's nine times out of ten your fault. And in this case, it is because I'm using Optifine. That's probably why that's going a little bit mental there. But that is actually the Pedetio going into it. Before, we had a green laser. And I took a second to realize why it was actually sucking terror for it. And it's because I had my Amulet of Viz Storage on me, wasn't it? I had it inside my balls inventory. If we do this, you see that change green? Yeah, it's because it's charging this guy. Whereas I want it to be just that. So I'm going to change it just to that while we're around. And now it's going super fast. Now if you don't have Optifine on, the chances are you're probably not going to have this weird kind of graphical glitch. But yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks cool though, doesn't it? I guess in its own weird, wonderful way. <laughs> nice. But we're doing some mining. It's working pretty well. Look how much good stuff we got. Redstone, iron. I can see some diamond down there. I wonder if this hurts me if I stand in front of it. It doesn't. Brilliant. Let's go down here and have a look. Look at this. How cool is this? It does look pretty funky, doesn't it? And it's going around there. It's mining loads of good stuff. And I love how when it mines it, the block actually kind of disintegrates and gets pulled with it. Like that. That's so cool. And it's going to go a fairly decent way as well. And it's quite large when it gets going. Like the size of it's kind of funky. So I do like that. And look what we got in there. We got diamonds. We've got ore. We've got gold. You see this little guy's having a bit of a hard time trying to keep up with it. But I think he's, uh, I think he's doing okay. Maybe we need a couple more golems. Another way I was thinking of doing it was if you want to do it over a large area, you can have the items kind of spew out into a magic mirror. And then have them get it kind of teleported over that way. That's another way you can do it. Or you can just have it go into multiple chests. It's completely your choice. Or you can have them go into a hopper that's then connected to loads of chests. That's probably the fastest and easiest way of doing it. If you haven't got any other mods installed, that is. So yeah, that is that, guys. That is the arcane ball. But you can see that he's taken a fairly decent amount of damage in there, that pickaxe of the core. So it might be worth turning him off now and then taking this out. And giving it a little bit of time to regenerate itself. There you go. You can see that it's regenerating fairly fast. And it gives him some time to kind of chill out a little bit. <laughs> this has kind of gone back to normal again now. <laughs> I wonder if I put this on, it's going to break it again. Let's have a look. Uh, no, no, it's fine now. But if I do this. Put this back in here. Do this. Uh, oh, no. No, no, no. We seem okay now. Ah, maybe you're just moving it kind of broke it. All right, well, we look good. We look good. Cool beans. All right, guys, well, that's going to be that for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure to... Oh, man, bean. <laughs> if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, I urge you to subscribe for more awesome content. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one as always. And... Oh, man, I look cool. <laughs> and... Goodbye.